So a while ago, I decided to answer what the best weapon in Arsenal was, coming to the somewhat bold and corny conclusion that it was, well, you. But ever since then, I've been curious, specifically speaking as to what the worst weapon in Arsenal is. Now, there are dozens of weapons in the game, each having their respective strengths and weaknesses. But after carefully testing all weapons and wasting five hours of my life, I think that I can confidently answer that question. But before we begin, we need to set some ground rules as to how we'll judge these weapons. Firstly, how efficient are they? If your weapon can't get kills effectively or isn't quick enough to finish the job, it may be pretty bad. Secondly, how difficult is it to use? Truth be told, no one likes difficult things, whether it be an out of control car or a challenging hobby. We always strive for the easier choice, we always have. And that of course applies to weapons. No one likes a high spread assault rifle or a low damage sniper, so keep that in mind when we look at these upcoming weapons. And finally, how fun is it to use? Now, this rule can somewhat go with the second one, but let's be real for a second. If you don't like a gun, and it's not fun to use, even in a memeable way, you'll probably choose to avoid it at all costs. But now that we have a rule set, and we hopefully have a basic understanding of how this will work, let's start with this. Now the slingshot, although not the worst weapon on this list, trust me, it's on here for a reason. Now, looking at the stats, besides the infinite ammo and fire rate, there really isn't anything special going for it. And that trend continues into the gameplay, with the weapon taking about 4 shots to kill, having no headshot damage, and being projectile based. Now on paper, this all doesn't sound that bad as the projectiles aren't too slow and the damage could be worse. But the problem is more so the fact it's a lob shot weapon, meaning that on top of being projectile based, lining up shots will matter more often and can sometimes provide frustrating gameplay. This weapon in short isn't too bad, but very underwhelming at best, and not very efficient either, just like me. But this next weapon will make the slingshot look like a fine wine that's been sitting for years. The weapon in question? Now if I had to describe the flamethrower, it's very situational. It's mediocre in a lot of aspects from its slow time to kill, short range, and its awkward mobility. The worst part of this weapon is the fact it's not even the best flamethrower. That title goes to the acid spitter because it shoots green flames. Don't at me. Now when you take a look at the flamethrower stats, the only redeeming qualities is the fact it has a big ammo reserve, extremely fast fire rate, and decent afterburn. However, besides the afterburn and ammo, most of these don't compensate for its versatility, which heavily relies on you being in someone's face which, 9 out of 10 times, will get you killed. And unlike other weapons, the flamethrower really makes you stop and think about positioning and timing, as again, it heavily relies on the user being close to its target and somewhat confident. But I can't really complain too much on the range, as I don't think it would be fair to be burned alive from another continent. This weapon though can be fun, but it's not the worst weapon in Arsenal. Not by a long shot. That title goes to this. This weapon, although a cool concept, by all means sucks. You can fight me tooth and nail in the comments about how, oh, I just have a skill issue or you don't know how to use it properly. But when you can be outgunned by a shotgun at long range, I think the stats speak for itself. Speaking of which, let's dive into that, shall we? Each mode of this weapon does different amounts of damage, with a Dark Heart projectile being the strongest at 60 damage per shot. Fire, although weaker, has a permanent afterburn, meaning that if an enemy doesn't pick up a health pack, it's a guaranteed kill. But if you're unlucky, at longer ranges, it may take 3 shots. And finally, we have Ice, which slows down an enemy on hit, but does significantly less damage and is the worst option out of the 3. The weapon also has infinite ammo, which although nice, isn't enough to save it from its biggest problem, which is the fact that it's nearly useless in every situation. At close range, it gets obliterated by these, medium range these, and long range is pretty much anything hit scan or high damage. When you get down to it, the spellbook is disappointing. Although it has potential like its damage, the projectile at times feels so stingy and unpredictable, making it so annoying to use. The different modes, which again, although a cool concept, overall feel unbalanced. As an example, why would I take my time to switch to the ice rounds or dark heart rounds when the base fire rounds not only have infinite afterburn but has a faster time to kill? 
Not to mention that the ice effect is so unnoticeable, I wouldn't blame you for forgetting it exists. I really want to like this weapon, I really do, but compared to nearly everything else in the game, it sucks. Whether it be at close, medium, or long range, this weapon is outclassed in every conceivable way possible. Hell, it doesn't even do the multiple firing modes the best either, as the Taver also has three options, each better than the spellbooks combined. And that's why the spellbook is the worst weapon in Arsenal, period. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.